we are counting down to our season two launch. That's right, every time. And we're counting down with uplifting moments from the past year. Recently, we were inspired by the works one of our guests was doing to help pets who, like humans, are very much in need during the pandemic. Here's a bit of that interview. So um, all this work with animals has inspired you to start working with a new charity, right? Tell me what you're doing. Yeah, so there's this charity um, called Stay Home and Foster. And, uh, you know, they've already been doing a great job of trying to get people to, to foster animals. And um, with Stay Home and Foster, we are actually doing this next um, phase of it now, which we're really excited about, um, which is called Fido Foster or Feline Foster. Um, mm -hmm. And basically, we're trying to create um, a community that connects all the shelters in our country and be one place that people can go to. And it, it's also somewhere that um, goes beyond just giving you the dog. You know, you can go on and say like, what are the things that we shouldn't be giving our dogs? And what are the things that we should be giving them? So yeah, so with Fido and Feline Foster, we are trying to create um, a real um, strong community that will, that will last, you know, and that is somewhere that everybody can, can trust and go and be able to help save these animals and, you know, and add a little furry friend to their family. All right, well now she's back to update us on her work with WAG and the Fido Foster Organization. She's helping our furry friends everywhere and we love her for it and for many reasons. She's just fun as hell. Olivia Munn, everybody. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what are you, are you wearing a NASA suit? I am wearing a space suit, Olivia, because we're really clever at this show and we're launching season two. Um, it, I came with a helmet and everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I basically, I don't get embarrassed at anything. So anything anyone asks me to do, I generally just say yes and jump right in the deep end. Um, so I love well, that. I, yeah, I feel like if you, had, if you had given me a suit, I would have worn it too. I know. I feel like we're similar in that sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First, I need an update on your mom's online shopping. So, what's been the, <laughs> what's been the latest purchase she's made you make? <laughs> well, the the latest purchase was so back for Father's Day. Um, I my my mom said that my stepfather Sam wanted a hammock because we're in quarantine, they can't leave the yard. They have a big, beautiful yard with all her gardening around. Yeah. And so um, I said, great, I'll, I'll get you guys too, so you guys can enjoy together. And then uh, the other day I thought to ask my mom, you know, how's, how's the hammock life going? And she's like, it's really good. And I said, what about Sam, how's it going? And he said, oh, um, I'm not using it. And my mom said, yeah, no, no. Um, I put the other one into the storage unit. And I was like, well, well, why Sam wants one? She's like, no, no, one's for me and one's for me for later. <laughs> like, so I was like, so then Sam's Father's Day gift that she picked out for him that was from the children um, was really just for her, which is oh really not surprising. Which you know, is so sly. That's awesome. <laughs> well, what is the latest with Fido Foster Organization that you're part of? You were talking about that last time. Yeah. Well, um, it's been doing really great. And um, the, the thing that we've really um, been proud about incorporating is training for people. So, you know, I work with WAG and it, uh, we've done a lot of stuff with WAG when it comes to like uh, dog sitting, um, boarding, walking your dog but mm -hmm. then we've added this new thing to help people train their dogs so they can do these one-on-ones with trainers online like these 30-minute training sessions which yeah. is super important because when we started doing the stay home and foster at the beginning of quarantine mm -hmm. wag and i um, helped with stay home and foster and and we really wanted people to be able to you know hopefully adopt these dogs and take them into their lives and i know having pets and you do as well like the the training that they go through if you can get any any little bit of training helps make your life and their life so much better so it was, a, it was something that i've always pushed in the beginning of working with wag and now we've um found out this this amazing process especially with online and doing things virtually that people can sign up and and actually work with a dog trainer so we've been doing that and helping that and offering that um to people which has been really exciting to see like people um, learning how to train their dogs better and then you know these dogs like flourishing and, and these new families it's been really exciting absolutely all right well I love hanging out with you so much Olivia I think you are so cool thank you for stopping by um, everybody be sure to check out WAG for dog training tips and also go online to find out how you can help more with the Fido Foster organization cause